Good evening indeed, yes. Yes. Now, we are experiencing some issues with internet connectivity, it seems. Uh, I have run a speed test on my own end. And uh, it should be fine. So I'm, get, I'm thinking maybe Restream is acting up a bit. So pardon the silence here as I am looking through the uh, uh, looking through the uh, restream um, settings and seeing if there's something I can do in there. Probably not. Uh, Summer says the most likely culprit is restream, but could be another factor. Best just to roll with it and see how it develops. Yes, well that is what we're gonna do. And it seems to be fine now. I wonder what's going to happen when I switch over to camera. Oh, it's already. See, every once in a while, I get a little, get a little red dot down in my OBS window, and that is not somewhere you want redness to appear. So when it starts dropping, uh, you know, dropping red colors all over my uh, dashboard, there it goes again. Uh, that's when. That's when shit's bad. And I did change the Restream server as well. I wonder if I wonder if it's possible to actually change server on the fly. So I can try and switch to... Okay. Let's see if things have improved now. I have restarted the computer, which was fast, I have to admit. And things seem to be somewhat better. At least I I'm not seeing any dropped frames right now. Let's uh let's get some um get some music pumping. Let's just have that same track playing. Just gonna see if it's uh if it seems to be crapping out so far. I mean I I don't see why it <laughs> it would crap out just because I'm playing music. But uh, anyway, yeah, seems fine on my end as well. Really strange how a computer can do that. I mean, just uh, flat out decide, no, don't feel like using the internet properly now. So you've already heard this tune once, so I'm just gonna fade out quietly. Um, if anyone is interested, uh, this is a very, very old track that I did back in 2006. Wow, it's almost 10 years old. And it uh, was done while I was still at university, and the uh, it's actually available for download. I could paste a link to where you can get it. It's, well, it's not very good, but... <laughs> 2006 is over 10 years ago. Yes, it actually is. Me and math, we, we, don't, we don't do well. Here's the link. Sorry, the, in, the entire description of this is in Danish, but you know the word download means the same thing in uh, Danish and English. And yes, the uh, title of track five is very insensitive and weird. Um, you have to remember this was in 2006. Uh, and also, the, the track is just as weird as the title would imply. Uh, the track you're listening to now is track number six. Does have a detective feel to it, doesn't it? And that's exactly why I picked it for this stream, hoping that I could just shut up while it was playing and uh, just let you guys get settled in and all of that junk. But um, yeah, so for uh, those of you watching the VOD, we've had some problems. Yes. Let's 
Think Francisco just discovered track number five. Yes, yes, I saw that. Hello, Francisco. Good to see you. All right, that was it. We're done. <laughs> Not the uh, usual type of uh, introduction that I like to give, but let's turn on the camera and see what happens. Hi, I'm the Space Quest Historian. Yes, welcome to the stream. Ah, I see Seriar made the classic mistake of... <laughs> Sorry, I made that mistake a ton of times until Francisco had to, you know, poke my shoulder and go, by the way, uh, there are actually two Zs in his surname. I think I even posted a, I don't know if it was a video or a podcast or something, where I just consistently misspelled his name. I think it was one of the backseat designers episodes. Uh, so fun times on that. Yes. You just have to just have to remind yourself, wait, there are no S's in his last name. I constantly have to remind myself of that now. Uh, so anyway, uh, hello, everyone in the chat. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, sorry about the little mishaps that we've had here uh, in the beginning. Uh, a couple of uh, connectivity issues, but apparently restarting my computer seems to have done the trick. Now, the computer has been on for most of the day, but I figured that's not really a concern anymore. The last time we had to constantly turn off and on our computers was back with Windows 98. Uh, then again, that's just thing is ZZ Top when you think of me. Not quite there with the beard, but I see what you're saying. Uh, so... Bit of a bit of a false start there, and um, that kind of just threw me off completely. Threw me off my game completely. I had a couple of things I wanted to mention off the bat. Uh, first of all, full disclosure, I'm sick. Like I took the day off. I uh, I was not feeling well, and um, I've, you know spent the day just sort of huddled in a corner, uh, just you know, feeling my forehead a lot. Uh, so, you know, the uh, beginning stages of a big old fancy Danish weather cold, like a real good head cold. But I didn't want to cancel the stream today because I am excited to play the game that we're going to play today. And it is Contradiction, Spot the Liar. So what, 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 what this all entails is that seeing as I'm operating on about half capacity, I might be saying some loopy things during this. I may even look like I'm about to fall half asleep. But um, uh, gosh darn it, I'm going to start playing this game and I'm really excited about it. Uh, second is, and you'll see this in a minute, I have sort of reordered the uh, stream layout a bit. Uh, the um, chat box now clears after 60 seconds, clears after uh, a minute or so, um, because this game runs in widescreen, so I wanted to show as much of the game as possible. So here, let me just start it up. It starts up at a main menu thing. So, boom, there we go. I might want to want to increase the time to live settings for the uh, chat. 60 seconds seems low, so let's just put that at 90 seconds. There we go. Now wait, full 120. Fuck it, we're feeling generous. There you go. So what I've done is increase the um, uh, increase the play window, as you can see. My face cam is slightly obscuring it, and the uh, chat is also slightly obscuring it. But transparent backgrounds, yay! Uh, I guess when I'm looking off to the side like this, is because I'm watching OBS over on my second monitor over here. 420. Summer. This is the absolute wrong time to be blazing. Oh wait. Uh, no? Oh, no? Wait, I was just thinking, wait, that must have something to do with the time. But it's not 4.20. <laughs> oh, well. Ah, damn, Mick Mills has to leave. Anyway, sorry about that. So, okay, we are in, and we are going to play this. And uh, the last thing I wanted to mention had something to do with... Uh, actually, had something to do with Francisco. Uh, it is that the Adventure Jam... 2018 is starting soon. Uh, Adventure Jam is a yearly... Well, it's a jam. It's a game jam. You have two weeks to make a an adventure game. I was just going to say a point-and-click adventure game. It doesn't have to be point-and-click. It just has to be an adventure game. And I should probably just not talk about this too much because we have to get in and play the game, obviously. Uh, I'm just going to leave a link to the game jam itself. And it is 
this one. And uh, the reason I just wanted to bring it up briefly was because I, I've actually just last night and when, when my fever were starting to kick in, I had I had the idea of what I wanted to make my game about. And I've, um, you know, started writing down some thoughts. I mean, you can start writing down and designing the game or at least planning the game, uh, but you can't actually draw any graphics or program anything until the jam starts. So I have a stellar idea and my main goal participating in Adventure Jam 2018, I've participated for three years, four years, three years or four years, something like that. Um, my my goal is to freak the fuck out uh, the judges, to freak the judges the fuck out. That's how you language, yes. And the judge for this year happens to be Mr. Gonzalez. So I really have to work hard on this one. Uh, last year, Dave Gilbert was one of the judges, and I thought a cocaine-dealing squirrel might do the trick. It didn't. I don't think he ever mentioned it. Uh, so, so damn, I should have asked him when I met him at Adventure X last year. But anyway, um, I'm, I'm not a sore loser. I'm not in this to win. I just want to freak the judges out. But it's hard, because I happen to know Francisco. I would say quite well at this point. We've been friends for a long time now. Uh, so, um... It's going to be difficult, but I think I've found it. Anyway, that did turn out to be quite a ramble. Like I said, half capacity. Sorry. We are going to get in and we're going to play some Contradiction. Um, I'll probably end up contradicting myself a lot. Maybe I'm, I'm, supposed to looking, I'm supposed to look for contradictions in what people say. This is an FMV uh, detective game, and from the screenshots, we're going to have a, a protagonist who likes to mug at the camera a lot. Which is good, because... Kindred spirits and all that. I, I do the exact same thing. So, other than that, I have no idea what's up. I am going to enable subtitles, though, because I think we're going to need those. And just get in and start the game, see what the fuck is up. My oh, name hello. is Jenks. Detective Inspector Frederick Jenks. And oh, hello, I've Jenks. And to a last-minute investigation into the death of Kate Vine. And next we're going to look at Sarah Instagram and uh, last Friday, Peter Facebook. In a lake in the woods on the outskirts of the tiny village of Edenton. I have until first thing tomorrow morning to decide whether her death was a simple accident or whether this was murder. I'm going to go murder. Kate Vine appeared to the world to be a bright, confident, fun-loving PhD student with everything to live for. However... A history of depression and alcoholism revealed in her medical well, records. Well, she did live for something. That in reality, she had become adept at hiding behind a mask. A lab report indicating a high level of alcohol in her blood, along with the late hour of her death and a lack of witnesses, makes a strong case. Well, she went out for a piss up, fell off a bridge. But case closed. Good talk. Curious so, uh, like, subscribe, do whatever you kids do. found on the opposite side of the lake in which she drowned. It floated also, away. There were traces of morphine in Kate's system. Where did she get it? Probably Kate her university buddy. I knew a lot of people who were into some weird shit at university. Danger, which may, in part, have something to do with a business course called Atlas, which Kate had joined and which she had been attending. This is a lot of info dump based in right off the bat. Based home on the outskirts of the village, the exclusive Atlas is run by father and son team, Paul and Ryan Rand. Randa. Interviewed following Kate's death, but neither claimed to have seen Kate after the meeting, and both were understandably eager to distance themselves and Atlas from the tragedy. This isn't the first time that this Atlas is like has been British Scientology, Atlas, and their questionable methods, which many have suggested border on mind control. No. Ryan is married to Rebecca, a cult that indulges in mind control. Perish the thought. Dragon. As yet, she hasn't been interviewed, though it's likely Kate visited the pub on more than one occasion. Because whenever the police went to the pub to interview her, they just ended up getting Bowen, drunk instead. Who got to ask questions. Lodge on the road leading out of Edenton Village. Emma was also doing a PhD at the same university, but didn't attend Atlas. Interviewed after Kate's death, Emma seemed shocked and upset, insisting she hadn't seen Kate that night. However, it turned out her boyfriend had. Is, is this video just solving the case for me now? After completing his degree around 18 months ago, he went to work at a shop in the neighboring village. He started at the Atlas course a few months ago. Simon insisted that he didn't see Kate after the meeting, but the sergeant interviewing him noted he seemed oddly unmoved by her death, which makes probably him all the morphine the in his blood. And I want to see tonight. It's time for some answers.
Jesus Christ, that was a big old fat info dump right there. Okay, welcome to Edenson Village. Click the arrows to move around the village. I was just going to say, so this is a twine game, but it's, you know, uh, it's more of a, um... It actually reminds me a bit of that 96 Mills game that I played a while back. A long while back, actually. Uh, which, which which had you, like, walking through a, an abandoned factory and ghosts popped up, and it was very scary. Um, if you see the magnifying glass, try your investigative button to see Jenks investigate. Seems kind of voyeuristic, but okay. Click the inventory icon to see your collected items, which includes both physical objects and information Jenks has collected. If you're at a location where you think you can use a physical item, try the use icon. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what was that example? It was just as Kate, parentheses, she died. Okay. Des Moines has apparently played the game, so yes, please don't, uh, please don't spoil anything in the chat, although you are welcome to try and help me out, because as you probably know already, I have an absolutely terrible memory. Uh, one thing I just want to check out real quick, if I can, is go into the main menu, check out the AV... No? Um, because I noticed the, um, uh, video was lagging a bit on my screen, and yeah, I wouldn't imagine a, an FMV game lagging. I mean, just playing fucking video clip should be fine, but, um, hmm. Anyway, needing votes? I don't know if it's that kind of game, but, um, I'll, you know, if it happens, it happens. Okay, so let's just go ahead into the pub, see what happens. Hello? Anyone home? Go ahead into the pub. Nope. No one's answering the door. You snot-nosed bastards. Um, let's go down the west street and see if we can find an entrance around the back, maybe. Go down behind Brandon House, yes. Scoot on, scoot on. Head back to west street. Wait a minute. Um, okay, so I'm just looking at a garage door. This is not what I had intended. All right, I'll just stand here like a weirdo. Ooh, it's actually nice. This is actually a, 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 an FMV playing. You got the wind blowing in the trees and everything. Um, you are to Cox. Why does no one want to talk to me? I feel very alone right now. Okay, Village Hall. Uh, continue. I'm just gonna keep going. It's a dead end, looks nice. Can't go inside or do anything. So we're just heading back. Go left. Down Woods Lane. Hello. Go to Eden Lodge. I have no idea where I'm going. This will be interesting. Knock for Simon. Now, there's a notepad -y thing here. Uh, Kate. Kate Vine's death. Kate's driver's license. Her driving license was found on the opposite part of the lake with a piece of tape attached. Click to try using this. There is no use for Kate's lost driving driver's license here. Driving license, sorry. Yes, I'm. we're all sorry. This shows tips and this is a map. Okay, I thought there was a note thing. Oh, but there's something to examine. Hello. I wonder Trusting if- Trusting leaving a bike unlocked? Looks like uh, homebrew equipment. Gotta love us an old beer. Ah, this might come in handy. Screwdrivers, yes, we have picked up a screwdriver. Oh, so this is gonna be an adventure gamey type affair. It, it looked like, you know, from the outset that it was just gonna be us talking to people and pointing out uh, discrepancies in their stories. I'm gonna head back to the pub and either see if there's a magnifying glass that pops up, I didn't notice, or if, um, you know, I can just barge in with a screwdriver, branching that. Go over to the pub. Still no one home. Alright, I will do things to you. Where, where, where did that thing go again? Is this it? Yeah, there you go. Box of old bottles. Screwdriver. There is no use for a screwdriver. Okay, fine. Did I... Oh, I didn't pick up the box of bottles. It's just information that I picked up. Jenks says Simon was the first person he'd want to talk to. Yes, but I was under the impression he was inside the pub. Maybe I was not paying attention. So, I'll go 
to the map. That's the inventory. Sorry, still feeling my way around. Map. Simon and Emma. If if Simon was the first person he wanted to talk to, why did it dump me in front of the pub then? Oh well, I'll knock for Simon. Hey, Simsy boy. Oh, finally someone to talk Is to. It Simon. Uh, yeah. Detective Inspector Jenks, I'm investigating an incident in the village. Could I come in and ask you a few questions, please? Um, um that wasn't yeah. your driver's license. That, oh, that wasn't your police badge. It was just your driver's license. Oh, he's a shifty fella. Oh, I don't trust him. I don't trust him one bit. His uh, hair is too go nice. Through here, if you want, uh, Emma's working in the front room. Hi. She's and not working anymore. Uh, James. Jenks. What's all this about? There was a death in the village. Kate Vine, I believe you both knew her. Yeah. Yeah, what's with the hat? Do you need to speak to both of us? No, we just want to know uh, what the hat... I'll just speak to someone. About the hat, That's please. Okay. Just come through. Is it okay in here? No, this is terrible. This is, you can do much better. Do you want anything? Water? No, 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 I won't be long. Whiskey? <laughs> Vicious stabbing with the screwdriver? Anything? Ah, uh, yes. Let me just unpack everything. Your first interview. All right. Pick an item you want to ask about, then click Ask to see if Jenx... To see Jenks ask about it. Okay. Just, uh, I thought for a minute it said to see if Jenx wants to ask about it. It's like, am I going to fight him now? When you've heard the reply, you'll see a summary of what was said in the bottom. Simon said blah, blah, blah. He also said blah, blah, blah. <laughs> nice bit of hinting. Clicking any item you've already asked about shows the summary of replies beneath. Now click any reply to add it to the contradiction box on the right. You can add two replies at a time. So I am looking for discrepancies. Yes. Now you can start looking for contradictions. Find two contradictory replies and add them to the contradiction box. If they go green, sit back and watch Jenks interrogate your interviewee. Now, can I only add contradictions to one person? Like if, if I talk to one person, can I still use other people's testimony against him? We'll, we'll find out. Okay, well, let's just ask about Ken, uh, Ken Vine's death. Kate Vine. Hello. When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? Um, so last Friday's meeting. No objection! Did you see her after the meeting? No. How long have you known Kate? That would be when we started Atlas. Three months ago? So that's a Jeans cult, right? Eyes outside Atlas. No. Where are you banging? You in this very that? kitchen. Uh, what sort of person was she? A um, bit of a well, screamer. Uh, like to bite it, her uh, nails. Full of life, you know? Yeah, so, not any I'm fucking so more. Would you say she had any emotional problems? She, she does like to mug to the camera, doesn't she? Her mood could change. And, well, there was the drinking problem. When did you become aware of that? Well, she would come drunk to a meeting sometimes. Like you do. Reek of the stuff. I mean, everyone knew, but nobody really said anything. So, tell me a bit about Atlas. Oh, it's just a business management training program for postgrads. No, it you isn't. This after you left college. Uh, yeah. And it's on every Friday. Yeah. Well, my group isn't doing it this Friday, but uh, one of the groups is. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, I'll just be leaving now. Okay, well, we know two things. Um, that detective dude, that Jenks, really likes mugging for the camera, and I love it to bits. I love the faces he pulls. And the acting is actually surprisingly good. Okay, he said he last saw Kate at the Atlas meeting last Friday. He's only known Kate for three months, and he didn't socialize, and she often seemed drunk. Can I? If I click exit, is he just going to exit the interview? Because I... Oh, I knew I should be taking notes, shouldn't I? Yes, can you tell me about voodoo? Alright, let's let's uh, let's ask about Kate's driving, driver's license. Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? No. Hey, wait, you just printed out a meme. No, I don't think so. Never seen it before. Oh, she didn't go around brandishing her driver's license? Doesn't know about that. All right. So, um, speaking of odd things to ask about, how about a beer? Would you like a beer? I noticed a lot of bottles outside. Are they yours? Yeah, I'm at homeroom. For yourself? Well, no, I give it out to my friends. Mostly for Kate, stuff. really. 
I tried selling it at first, but I didn't have any takers, except for James over at Farmhouse. I, I used to trade it to him for, for herbs and stuff. Do you see James a lot? No, not really. Not unless I need herbs. Simon told Jenks about his homebrew. Woohoohoo. But that gives us a new thing to ask about. Okay, sure, let's just go through all of this. Hello, Onyx in the chat. And <laughs> Jenks' hammy acting is the best part of this game. I concur. This is absolutely... This is great so far. And the production values are not terrible. I mean, uh, you know, we're used to FMVs being filmed in front of a green screen with whoever they could just haul in from um, the uh, offices or whatever. Just slap a bit of makeup on them and go, go read some lines off a of cardboard. Uh, piece of cardboard. Again, 50% capacity. So this is a lot better already. I'm getting kind of a Midsummer Murders vibe from it, but I think that's just the Britishness. All right, unlock bicycle. Which is the bike outside? Oh, that's my cousin's. He lent me it. Uh, I need to buy a new lock for it, though. So it's your bike at the moment? Yeah, yeah. And uh, There's no bus service to speak of around here, so it's really the only way to get around. How about foot? How about crawling? Have you tried hopping? All right, can I show you the screwdriver? It isn't worth asking Simon about the screwdriver. Okay, well, fuck me. Um, I don't see any contradictions so far, so let's go talk Thank to you. Emma. Thank you. will be back later. Don't worry, it's only a few questions. Now it's going to be a lot of questions. Like a, like a lot. All right, tell me about Katie Boy. Po uh, po when was Katie the last time you saw Kate Vine? It was last Thursday in the college library. Um, I saw her and we chatted for a bit. Liar! She seemed her usual self. Drunk what and disorderly. Usual self. Oh, just Kate being Kate. You know, a bit wild. That wild. absolutely tells me nothing. Way wild. Oh, she just used to question everything, you know. Have arguments with the lecturers, things like that. What else? <laughs> arguments about bringing you beer to class, I guess. How uh, noticeable was that? Well, it wasn't at first, but as the year went on, she'd be drunk in the afternoon. But I think she cut down, you know, towards the end of college and when she started her PhD. Down to a whiskey and a half. Didn't see Kate very often, had drinking problem at college, was argumentative. All right, we'll, we'll uh, look for holes in their uh, testimony later is it very unpolite to wear a hat inside a house not if you're a detective detectives do this all the time did you know whether kate had lost this or not um i don't know but i i don't think so okay you are so full of shit madam who's is the bike outside oh it's simon's cousins he uses it to get to work you know the lock's broken Oh, no, I keep telling him to fix it. Keeps telling Simon to fix the lock. Simon uses the bike to get to work. Okay, so, so far they've said nothing out of the ordinary, I think. Can we have a drink is the question. Screwdriver, can't ask about that. Bottles. What's the stack of bottles outside? Oh, that's all Simon's stuff. You better ask him. I, I don't know. Good thing that we can ask her about that. Bottles belong to Simon. Well, still pretty pretty good. Have you ever tried Simon's homebrew? Me? <laughs> no. I don't like beer. I only drink wine. I can't stand spirits either. Only drinks wine and hates spirits. We shall get back to that. Uh, let's just... Well, we can't really ask them about anything else, so let's uh, just... That's all for the moment. Fuck Thank off. You. PhD of alcohol expert. Yes. Best to knock on the window for Emma. Simon always answers the front door. All right, so we can talk to both of them without... Okay, can we actually just climb through the window and start asking her questions? Um, cool. Well, this is good. I like this so far. Is everyone having a good time? I'm having a great time. Not going to go get lost in the woods. In fact, I'd better use the map and go to Rebecca's pub because I really, really want to get in and have a drink. I think I need it at this point. Hello? Hello? Open the fuck up, please. Fine. What else can we do? Paul and Ryan Rand and Atlas. I'll bet they don't want to talk to us, but we can go and have a chat with Paul and Ryan Rand. 
Go down behind Brandon House. Sure, why not? Usually people just enter through the front door. Okay. This is where it was before, but... Can, can I not go and... Okay, fine, fine. You know what? We're, we're gonna go talk to Atlas. Actually, let's just check out where the body was found. Because that's, that's, that's my thing. That's my jam. Oh, fucking went in the wrong direction. Junction. Go. My god. <laughs> okay, go ahead into the woods. There we go. Go to the Chetty. See if someone left anything behind. See if we can examine like shit. A piece of jewelry there. Stuck between the boards. Well and truly wedged in. Screwdriver time! Yes, see, I have played adventure games before. I would assume. Show inventory, screwdriver, here we go. Oh, I am into this. Friendly libations. Interesting. I thought forensics had checked the whole area. Obviously not very well. Dumb fucks. Well, this is great. Yes. They don't even say goodbye when the conversation is finished. Well, she kind of said goodbye. He said, uh, you know, that, that'll be all for now. Mm. <laughs> oh, we're going to go. F uh, I, I will try and find the beach path. Yes, to Foodmaster. However, this is about as close as we get, I think. Yeah, this, this is about as close as we get. Um, seeing as no one else wants to talk to us, maybe we should head back and show them that piece of business. Eden Lodge? Um, Emma, do you know anything about this a piece of jewelry? questions, if you don't mind. Yes, yeah, broken pendant. Ever seen this? Looks like, uh... That's my old necklace. I gave this to Kate. So Kate might have been wearing it last Friday. Yeah, well, perhaps, but I can't see why. She was always buying new things, you know, lots of jewellery, stuff like that. It's meant to be a bird in cage, but the cage's fallen off. Oh, I'll show you. Love the subtitles. The typo. I'll it? show you. Present. Secret admirer. Not so secret. I see. That's What's it from Simon, then? It's called a freedom necklace. Do you mind if I keep this? No, not at all. So the necklace did belong to Kate. Interesting. I'm starting to wish I'd brought a spare evidence bag. <laughs> I am seriously starting to wonder why I didn't bring a notebook to this, but okay. I, I will learn the uh, names and such. Uh, just just give me a while. It, it takes me a while. And and you are very free to remind me of you know names and, and such. Um, I would, of course, prefer to hear suggestions from people who have not played the game. So it's kind of like a... You know, playing with you. So if if you if you have spoilers, I mean, hold them off until you know we are dead stuck. Is that a deal? Can we do that? Cheerio. <laughs> See, I'm already getting into it. Uh, the only other person later on, if that's okay. First person we can talk to, is Simon. So let's do it. The acting is great. Okay, broken pendant. First of all, you should ask about the freedom necklace rather than the pet. Well, what are you, my fucking mother? You know what this is. Yeah. Yeah, I think Emma had one like it. Actually, you I know what? I just took it from her. I remember because I asked her about it one night when we were all out drinking. In college. I was probably pretty drunk. That's what college is all about. Yes, fuck learning. Let's get drunk. Actually, he's not far off on that one. Thinks Emma had a similar necklace. Kate wore the necklace at, at college. Again, nothing really just strikes me as out of the ordinary. Right, okay, gonna, that's it for now. I'm gonna fuck Thank off you. again. Does the card have a phone number? Oh, uh, no, it, it didn't seem like it did. No, and I don't think I'm meant to go visit the manufacturer or anything. So, can we turn you off? Thank you. Yes, the game also has a hint button. Um, I much prefer to get input from live people. Real people. At, le at least I assume you're all real people. Yeah, that's it for now. Comes back in four minutes. That's exactly how this is going to go down. Now, can we have that fucking drink or not? Help me. 
Nope, still can't. Fuck it. Alright, let's go up and uh, chat to Atlas. I'm gonna start by just going to this bit here and see if anything has happened. No. Actually, we can go a lot of places that aren't clearly defined on the map. We can go here for no good goddamn reason. Alright, let's go to Atlas. Enter Atlas Grounds. Yes. Enter the Atlas Building. Yes, lots of build up to this. I have to yep. go back later, I think. Darn. <laughs> this is how the UK looks. Yeah. Well, yes, I, I can. I can in fact confirm this is. Time progresses when you reach a certain point in the story. That's good. <laughs> now entering Phantasmagoria. Okay. Um. I guess the only other people we haven't talked to are, I guess maybe the post office could have something for us. No, can't do that. Call the chief. I don't think we're quite there yet. What's over here then? Not a whole fucking lot. Why can't I go in here? I want to do things to these people. Just gonna keep checking this location. Nothing fucking happens. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Let's uh, investigate the forest area a bit more then. Maybe we'll pick up some more shit that the uh, police didn't find. Go further into the woods. Oh, that's where we came from here. Go right to the woods entrance. Nothing here. Woods lane. Nothing here. Go back. Try the other place. Path to the right. Nothing here either. Hmm. Well, maybe the game is actually expecting me to point out a contradiction that I've missed. Now, there's a uh, there's an option. Oh. Uh, oh, sorry. That, that was just me. I. Um, on on the map it said phone box and, uh, shit. <laughs> on the map it said phone box and post office and for a second I thought I'd conflated the two. That uh, po I I had in fact misread post office as phone box. I don't know. Half cap less than half capacity. Let's call the chief. See what happens. Hello. Hello, hello. Oh, are they going to read all this out? Hello? Yeah. Chief? Yeah. It's Jenks. Hi. Uh, I've questioned Simon Thompson and Emma Bowman so far. Oh, and I found a pendant by the lake, which turns out to have been Emma's. But Emma gave it to Kate. So, chances are, Kate was wearing it the night she drowned. What does Thompson know about it? Simon doesn't seem to know much. I don't trust Thompson. But again, I don't trust Emma that much either. Try and get a bit of background on them, you know, usual stuff. When did Emma meet Kate? How long have they known each other? How long has Thompson known her? Give me a call back when you've got some more. Thanks, Chief. <laughs> Everyone's just sick of each other already. Hey, Chief, I stole the screwdriver and... <laughs> I just thought for a second you wrote, and I'm heading into the pub. Which would be good. <laughs> Uh, right. So he, he kind of suggested some things that we could ask them. Now, he did say get background information, which uh, is usually something you get from other people. Does this mean we can actually talk to anyone? But no, of course not. What was I thinking? So let's head up. What happens if I continue along this path? Where do I go now? Oh, that's the uh, the nothingness. So let's go here and chat up these bastards once again. A few more questions, if you don't mind. He told the window. Well, there's no one else to talk to. What would you like me to do? Thank you. Probably yep. be back later. Just wanted to pop in and waste your time for a bit. Am I missing something? 
Can I talk to someone else? That I just haven't found on the map? It's kind of strange. Magnifying glass was at that new place you just checked. Was it really? Wait, was that at the end of... Hang on a bit. I've, I must have missed it. Uh, village center? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Go back, go back. Oh, yes, yes, indeed. Oh, didn't even see that. Thanks, Summer. Always nice to randomly find a key on the floor. Or the ground, or whatever that is. Ding, it said. Click to try and use this. No use for the silver key here, but maybe at the pub. I can investigate more. Hmm. Improve your spiritual, intellectual, financial life. Wow. Isn't that interesting? So this is where the cult meets, I wager. Or perhaps a competing cult. We'll, we'll find out. We'll see. This, is, is this actually going to let me into the pub? Is he just, just going to let himself in? I, I highly doubt it. It seems like a very small key, but... No... No, 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 no. Okay, what else have we found that's locked? Couldn't possibly be the Atlas uh, padlock, could it? No. Apparently not. So, bike lock. Well, it said that he didn't have a lock on the bike. Uh, however... Maybe, maybe that's a contradiction in itself. He said that there wasn't a lock and they needed to be replaced, and he just lost the key. I don't know. Hey, Simon Poo. A couple more questions, if that's okay. Yes. We shall ask about this drop silver. It is not worth asking Simon about the silver key. Thank huh? you. Probably be back later. Yes, almost certainly, in fact. Emma? No, d d doesn't even want to talk about that either. That's all for the moment. Thank you. It's gonna fuck off. Can't go to the farm yet. No, no, haven't found a farm yet. Well, there's a farm down here, but... Can't really go... Maybe it unlocks... Ah, uh, here's a thought. Maybe it unlocks that garage that we keep running into. Which would be Paul and Ryan Rand's. I mean, it's, it's, it's not like we have a lot of options here, so... Hang on. Oh, there we go. No, no use for the silver key here, anyway. Hmm. Well, this is mighty peculiar, I feel. Maybe, maybe, let's just check out if it's useful outside their um, housey thing. Let's just see if we can use it here. No, nope, no use for it here. Either. So it's probably not the bike lock, actually. Maybe it belongs to someone? Yes. Drop the silver? What do you mean, Seriar? Who, who, who dropped silver? And if so, can we loot it? This is peculiar, isn't it? Can someone let us into the damn pub already? Nope. Fucking A. So, am I just supposed to wander around and see if silver keys are just randomly useful? It said, um, I mean, the, the commissioner or the, the captain or whatever they call him, he said we should look around for uh, people who can talk about these jack-offs whom no one trusts. But there are precious few people to talk to. Maybe we can call someone else. Maybe we can... We can call the chief, but can we call the Freedom Necklace people? No, we cannot. What a pity. Hmm. Pub won't open until the hour becomes later. Locations change with time, and I think you can point out a contradiction already. Okay. Well, that's kind of what I was... I don't know. I guess assuming but I thought maybe I had to find more information that would poke some holes in their um, in their stories, like, oh, we, well, we met five years ago. No, we met two months ago. Ha-ha! 
Gotcha. Anyway, Four let's questions, please. see you. if Emma has something. Let's see. Kate appeared as her usual self, was argumentative at college, had a drinking problem at college. Where's the contradiction in that? The bottles belong to Simon. We know they do. The unlocked bicycle. She keeps telling Simon to fix the lock. No, there's no contradiction there, I think. Doesn't think Kate had lost her driver's license. She didn't really seem very interested, to be honest. Broken pendant. Necklace is called a freedom necklace. Kate bought a lot of new jewelry and necklace was an unwanted gift. I don't know, I'm just... So, I guess these, these aren't contradictions in the slightest. And I can only... Wait, let me, let me just check if I can add contradictions. Yeah, I can add contradictions from several questions, but I can't... How, how do I clear these? I guess I don't. I guess I just start over whenever. Okay. Didn't see her often, yet gave her jewelry? Well, I guess... Yeah, I think you might have a point. Uh, so... Didn't see Kate very often. Mm, gave it to Kate. That doesn't seem... Actually, that was a very, very good guess. Uh, douchey guy. That was a very good guess. Apparently not what the game had in mind. Doesn't like beer. Wait, was there something about... How they went... No, that was... Uh, that was Simon. He went out drinking with her. Bottles belong to Simon, and she doesn't like beer. It's not really. <laughs> Emma gave Jenks the card from her freedom necklace. So we can't select any contradictions there. Okay. This is this is way more than my brain can handle. Uh, the necklace is Emma's, but she gave it to Kate. Kate bought lots of new jewelry. Necklace was an unwanted gift. Uh, here's a thought uh, about the pendant. Uh, Kate bought lots of new jewelry, so that's why probably why she just gave it to... Um... Wait a minute. Uh, is, is that a contradiction? Because, I mean, she had it, but then she gave it to Kate. So, I mean, because I mean, apparently she bought lots of new jewelry, so why would she want? Did you try asking Simon about Simon's homebrew option? No, I didn't. Maybe Be I'm... Later on, if that's okay. Maybe I'm barking up the wrong tree. Thinks Emma had a similar one. Kate wore the necklace at college. So... If I select this and then go visit Emma, you. probably be back later. It's going to, yeah, it's going to blank. So I can That's only call Thank you. one person out at a time. Well, I guess that makes sense, but I can't take testimony from other people and point out contradictions there. Okay, fine. Um. Is that a contradiction? No, not really. Last saw Kate at the Atlas meeting, only known Kate for three months. Oh, wait, he'd only known Kate for three months, but they went out drinking uh, in college. Didn't he say that? That's a contradict. Come on. Uh -huh. Yeah, there you go. So how did you know Kate was wearing a freedom necklace 18 months ago at college? Well, I, I knew... Kate at college, but I, I didn't get to know her till a likely Atlas. story. Right. So you didn't socialize with her at college, no. and you didn't socialize with her outside of Atlas. Uh, no. But you went you drinking didn't see with her, her outside Atlas at all. Um. No. No. <laughs> not, not at all. Not at all, did you? Ah, uh, six p.m. No cheat sheet. I got an achievement for no cheat sheet. Kate at college, but why would he lie about that? Maybe he knows Kate better than he's willing to admit. 
Six o'clock. I wonder if Rebecca's working in the pub tonight. I wanted to point out another contradiction. Because the uh, dude was bullshitting. Did I... Uh, uh, didn't ever socialize. Well, bullshit, you uh, you totally did. I'm just gonna go poke at this this dude again, because fuck you. If, if you weren't out drinking with her... Ask you a couple more things, please. Yes, please. Yes, please, indeed. Um... New Kate at college, but they didn't socialize. Wait, why can't I select any of this shit? Why can I not? Oh, is he like done lying to me? Cause thank you. Probably be back later. Oh fuck. Oh well. <laughs> Fine, we'll go to the pub. We can at last get into the pub. It's gonna be interesting. Investigate down behind the pub. This is what I always like to do when I, whenever I need to enter a building. I'll just wander around it and see if there are any, you know, quick escape points. A broken window. Recently smashed by the look of it. Might have to ask about that. Might have? Yes, what is that? Oh, that's just a bit of tape. Uh, nothing we can examine. Enter the outbuilding. Is this where people go to take poos? Always mm -hmm. wanted to go take poos. Padlock door. Well, well, well. We can sort that out, yes. Uh, dropped silver key. Here we go. Ooh, it stinks in here. <laughs> that reminded me of the seventh guest. <laughs> What's staff been doing here? Mm, uh, well, we can examine this shit. Have a look around. We're just, we're just snooping around. Ooh, a box from Atlas. So the pub is a front for the cult. The cult who likes to wear whose masks. mask this is? Rebecca's or Ryan's? I've already forgotten who the hell Ryan is. The poo building is locked. Well, you, I mean, you, you're running a pub. You get some drunk people in. You're going to have to ask to use the bathroom. I mean, fuck me. No one wants to clean that shit up. Just Ooh, looks Carlsberg. like junk, but it's too dark to tell. Oh, so we're going to have to find a light. Yes. All right. Well, we've got plenty of shit to ask about now. So, leaving courtyard. Entering pub. I'm gonna have to keep my eye on the bottom right here of the screen because shit uh, pops up. That's, you know, magnifying, giant magnifying glasses pop up and I can never see them. Good evening. I will press the bell. Service? Sorry, what can I get you? Detective Inspector Jenks. Rebecca, is it? Yeah. Mm. There's been an uh, incident in the village. I'm conducting an investigation. Could I ask you a few questions, please? Right. Opening hours. Come through. Thank you. I mean, it sounds very busy. She <coughs> sounded like she was in a hurry. Maybe she was just jogging around the bar. Oh, apparently What's not that about? much of There's a hurry. There's been an unexplained death locally. Not sure if you've heard. The student? Yes. Yes, it was dreadful news. Yeah, you see, You're married totally to Brian, broken. one of the Atlas leaders, yes? Okay, thank I you. I suppose I am, yes. Well, I just wanted to ask a few questions about Kate and Atlas, if that's okay. I don't know if I'll be able to answer any of them, but sure. Okay, so right off the bat, I will be no fucking use to you whatsoever. Question one, can I have a Guinness? <laughs> hey, Mental Chiba in the chat. Very nice to see you. All right, well, we've got a bunch of shit to ask about, so let's start... Well, fuck it, let's start with the mask. Do you know what this is? Yes, you stole it. Oh, you'll have to ask Ryan about that. So this is Ryan's. It's to do with one of Ryan's methods on the course. The uh, drunk, oh. naked, orgy well, method. Masks allow you to play at being someone different for a while. Well, it's a shitty Students mask, then. quite liberating. So this would be for a student. I think that one's Ryan's, but students do wear them, yes. I am intrigued. Suggests asking Ryan about the mask, so where the fuck is this dude? It's probably up at Atlas. 
Thanks to the mask is right. Cool. Um, pendant. Wait, actually, let's ask about the broken pub window. Let's just pretend we're here uh, to, you know, talk about How did the window get broken out around the back. I don't actually know. Um, someone said two girls were arguing outside. I found out after they've gone. Someone said. Last Friday, just after we opened, about half past six. I taped over it until I can get it fixed. We don't want people getting cut and suing us. Does that sort of thing happen a lot? Arguments? Well, it's a fucking pub. No, not really. I'm quite strict when it comes to boring clients I don't think are um, suitable. Uncult worthy. Um... This is probably going to be the contradiction, isn't it? She probably left work at five and the window was broken and she went outside and fixed it. Rebecca is strict about barring clients. Doesn't know who broke the window. Two girls. Okay, lots of th This is going to be our uh, point of contradiction, I feel. Let's just ask about Katie Poo. Did you know Kate? Not very well. She came in a few times, but she was quite a moody... Person. You're about to say cunt, weren't you? You could tell she had problems. Yes, but she when had problems that you could benefit from, from immensely. Friday. She popped in for a minute. Friday, eh? Uh, Did she finish? have an argument? Was she on her own? I didn't see who she was with. She put £20 on the bar and then left. What was that for? Well, Cabra, I don't think it's a possible to fail by asking beer. wrong questions. £20? Just for a beer glass? Wait, <laughs> what? what? She was very drunk. She just put it on the bar and then walk out. Was there a broken glass? Not that I noticed. But she was a strange girl. I should probably have paid a bit better attention to that, but thankfully the game leaves you notes like this. So, she gave t Rebecca £20 for a breakage. Last saw uh, Kate in the pub approximately 7pm. Okay, let's just... I wish I could clear this because it's really giving me, you know, a head case. Have you seen That's not what a head case before? is. I, I'm well aware of that. No, sorry. So you didn't know if Kate had lost it? No idea. Isn't this something you'd usually use as an ID? Hadn't seen the license before, but was, you know, drinky drinky. Okay. Come, come on. Yeah, that, that's wrong. Thank you. Says yeah, she hasn't seen Kate's license before. However, uh, Kate was very drunk. No, wait, she was very drunk when she came into the pub. Was she drunk enough for this, eh? Let me just check. Let me just check. This is bad, right? No? Oh, well, maybe she didn't card her. I don't know. Okay, unlocked bicycle. It's unlikely Rebecca would know about Simon's bike. Probably isn't worth asking about the screwdriver. Wouldn't know about the box of old bottles. Not much of a competition, I think. Good point with the license. <laughs> Dear chat, when you're drunk, feel free to put 20 pounds on Space Quest to store it. Maybe my Patreon as well. And, uh, you know, just um, turn off email notifications so you don't see that you're getting docked 20 pounds a month. I'm kidding, of course. I, I I, will only take money from people who want to give it to me. Patreon.com slash SpaceQuest Historian. Oh, shit. Where did that come from? Uh, back to the game. Uh, unlike Bicycle, fuck it. Now we're on to the broken pendants. We're uh, going to ask about the pendant. Do you recognize this? I've seen students wearing them. It has some sort of meaning, doesn't it? I forget what it is now. Well, it's a bird in a cage. What are you wearing think? Wearing one recently. Not that I can remember. Wait a minute, when did... When did Rebecca lose it? I forget. Maybe that's... Maybe hasn't seen anyone wearing it recently. However, she was... Uh, last Friday, she probably would have been wearing it. No? Oh, just checking. That's not interesting. Dropped silver key? No. Broken pup window? Cardboard mask? No. Okay, there must be a contradiction in this somewhere. It's the legal age for drinking 18 in the UK. I think it's 16. Back to the license. Kate must have shown the license earlier. 
driving license. I'm yeah, I'm pretty damn sure this is it. Hadn't seen the license before. However, on the night in question, she didn't know Kate very well, so she would have naturally carded her. Right? 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 No. Bugger. <sighs> Kate was very drunk and then gave her 20... No, this, now I'm just clicking on shit. Uh, freedom necklace cards. Has seen students wearing the necklace. Hadn't seen anyone wearing it recently. Thinks the necklace has some sort of meaning. Well, that's perfectly fine. Ask about Simon's homebrew. Can't do that. She doesn't want to talk about it. Trolls keeps missing what I write. Oh, Summer, I'm sorry. The chat seems to go by pre- Breakage, broken window. Alright, so, we're on to that, eh? Window broke, 6.30. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I see it. I see it. She's strict about barring clients, but... See, I just want this to clear. Strict about barring clients, but she didn't toss out Kate. No? Oh, I thought that would that would have been it. All right, let's see what else the pub window. Window was broken last Friday at approximately six thirty, but she was in the pub around seven. No, it's not the timer. Okay. I think trolls is missing a lot due to feeling ill. No, that that just offends me, really. Uh. I mean, the the correct answer is I'm absolutely stupid. Oh, you can ask about the homebrew. I didn't know see anything that. about Simon Thompson's homebrew. Does he make homebrew? Apparently. No, we I didn't do see buy that from a microbrewery, but we don't usually buy from kitchen breweries. Didn't know Simon made homebrew. Doesn't buy from kitchen breweries. That didn't really tell me anything. <laughs> Wait a minute, didn't... Uh, see, now, now it's a thing about remembering names. Uh, Simon said he'd sold... Uh, that's all for the moment. I'm just going to leave for a second. Uh, Simon said he'd sold uh, them to one guy. Summer keeps going on about the broken window. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Okay. I'll, 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 I'll look in the uh, uh, broken window thing. I don't see anything that could be a contradiction here. She taped over the broken window to make it safe. Window was broken last Friday at approximately 6.30 p.m. And she is strict about barring clients. Is is this a contradiction that she heard? No, I, I don't see it. Absolutely don't see it. Oh, well, you know, I'm back later on, if that's OK, just going to explore something else. I want to see what else we can do in here. Not a whole fucking lot, it seems. Very nice picture, though. Well, let's... Oh, wait, I forgot. We can't actually accuse him of more wrongdoings. So it is back to the pub. So it is just a matter of having to sit here and stare at the answered questions until they get one of them right. Ask about a few more things, please. <laughs> yes, and a pint of bitter, please. Okay. So Summer keeps going on about uh, something about the broken window. And yes, I am in fact ill because of the baptism. Not because I attended one. I wasn't actually in the church, but um, 
some disease going around. You know, one person catches a cold, gives it to the next person, gives it to the next person, and before you know it, you have a town hall full of people. All infected. All passing it on. No. Uh, but I'm pretty... Because my wife had it, and uh, she's probably passed it on to me, so now it's my turn. So, pardon the sniffling. Alright, I just want to get this one more... I got Jesus. Okay, Summer just gave me the answer. 20 pound breakage, uh, but she doesn't know who broke the window. Aha. Well, I feel quite so stupid. You said Kate gave you 20 pounds for a breakage, but you didn't have a breakage. That's right. I actually missed Do part of that conversation. The payment could have been for the broken window. Could it have been Kate who was arguing? Well, I suppose it could have been, yeah. Could have been Kate, you're probably right, yeah. But you don't know who she was arguing with. No, I'm not sure. Well, now you're just a big old fat liar, aren't you? Not realising Kate had broken the window. Rebecca really should have worked that out before now. Unless she did. But why would she lie about that? Well, it's just a thing that she does. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. Well, I was gonna end it after that interrogation, but I, I can, I can sort of sense that I feel rather stupid for not getting that, and it's because I'm not, I'm, I'm sort of paying attention to, uh, the chat and the game, and I'm making stupid comments as I play. Um, so, uh, I need to pay more attention when people are talking. I can't investigate the uh, window anymore. And I guess I haven't really found Emma, uh, or, or uh, caught Emma in any contradictions yet, so let's just... A couple more questions, if that's okay. ...have a chat with her, because it's possible that she was the one whom uh, Kate was with. So, Kate's argument. Did you hear about an argument in the pub last Friday? No, I wasn't there. You weren't in the village? No, I went home last, last Thursday night, actually, to see my parents. But you do visit the pub. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I know Rebecca quite well. We we all went there quite a bit after college. Didn't she say she didn't? No, she knows Rebecca quite well. That's not Kate. Okay, fine. Uh, what about the pub window? Know anything about a broken window at the pub around the back? The pub, um... A broken window at the back. You totally yeah, did it. I saw it was broken. When was that? I was in the pub on Monday with a college friend. And who is this friend? I might want to know. She knows about the broken pub window. But went home to see her parents Thursday night. Well, that's fine. Okay, let's just ask about the masky thing. Oh, I just noticed right now there's a color coordination going on with the uh, questions. Nope, I haven't. Sorry, I think I'd have remembered it. She hasn't seen this mask before. Wasn't she in? Wasn't she in the whole Atlas thing? I'm just going to go Thank and talk you. to Simon Probably for a bit. Probably be back later. Because I just want to see... Yeah, now I can I can, now I can. can start asking him about more shit. <clears throat> cool. So, let's start with the pub window. Do you know anything about a broken window at the pub? No, I don't really go to the pub very often. I'm not exactly a pub person. Not a pub person, eh? But you went... Uh, drinking with Kate and she likes to go to the pub let's just see if that actually happens uh, let's see let's see let's see no all right never mind let's ask about the oh wait why, why is this green 
Okay, I'm just getting turned around, aren't I? Let's ask about the cardboard box. Mask. Have a look <laughs> at this. Know anything about that? I haven't seen this one, but it looks a lot like an Atlas mask. Uh, we use them for some of the um, some of the workshops and stuff. Really? Orgies, you mean? <sighs> well, you um, you have to say something uh, boastful or uh, or arrogant. You do it first without the mask, and then you say it with a mask. And that seems it? stupid. Well, it's easier yes. when you have the mask on, isn't it? People are not as afraid to be free about themselves, you know? Well, if you're an idiot, because people you still know it's you behind the mask. Well, it was advertised. Um, actually, I think I've still got the... Uh, <clears throat> this is the advert that was at my college. Uh, to be honest, I've learned more in three months at Atlas than I did in three years at business school. Can I keep that? Yeah, go for it. I've learned more at was Atlas that than in college. Was a conversational starter. It could be. Um, how about the argument, do you think? Know anything about an argument at the pub last Friday? No, I didn't go to the pub last Friday. What did you do after the course? Just went home. Came here. Just came straight back. Green are items, blue are facts. Okay. Cheers. Cheers, Wilcobber. Doesn't know anything about the argument. Went straight home after Atlas last Friday. Is there something about um, the timeline there? Keep, uh, I keep thinking there's got to be something about the timeline. Uh, because maybe he went to the pub with her or something. Anyway, Thank let's you. probably be back later. Let's ask Emma about the. Uh, flyer there, the advertising poster, and then go and ask uh, Rebecca about it. What do you know about Atlas? <laughs> this is a scary face. I know that it's, um, it's a business course. I went with Simon when he first went, but it wasn't really my thing. How often did you go? Just the once. And you decided it wasn't for you? Yeah, I'd been to something similar, so decided it wasn't for me. Something similar, eh? Had better orgies. Still gonna go with the orgy thing. Only went once to Atlas, had been to a similar course before. So she didn't get to see the mask, I guess. I'm just gonna check if that actually is a contradiction. It really isn't. Okay. All right. Maybe this game is way too advanced for me. I'm, I'm starting to think maybe this isn't a good streaming game because there's going to be a lot of me just sitting around going, hmm, I uh, wonder, uh, and, and not getting it. And it's going to get frustrating for people who know the solution in the chat like Summer. Uh, so anyway, let's just... That's all for the moment. Thank you. Let's just fuck off here and go show the um, the advertising thing to Rebecca. Hello. They love their close-up shots. Absolutely, they do. A few more questions, please. Yes, I would love some. Here we go. What do you know about this? It's an advertisement. They had it designed by an agency, I think. And when was that? Last year sometime. Did you just look straight into the camera? Okay, Ryan had the poster designed by an agency. The poster was designed last year. But we can't use someone else's testimony against uh, a person. So we can't... Uh, we can't go back to Simon and say, Hey, by the way, we... Uh, do, do, do something. Uh, the, if, if you saw it three years ago, why was the poster only designed last year? Or something like that. Okay. Be back later on, if that's okay. So let's go and trap Emma. I think Emma is the uh, one person we haven't caught in a uh, lie just yet. And now, sadly, nothing obvious sprung uh, out on me. Things, please. So I just want this one last win, and then we can then we can pack in the stream for today. 
Uh, and I can definitely, I mean, I can feel that my brain is not working at a high enough capacity to look through people's bullshit. So you can tell me anything, really, at this point, and I'll believe you. Oh, oh, you say you invented gravity. Why, <laughs> very well done. Yes, yes, in 1830. Cool, how do you stay so young? All right, so... I think, what, what tree are we barking up on? Because my thing is still to do with either this pendant thing, which he recognized, or this um, uh, this thing about uh, being with Kate at the pub. I think, because I'm very sure that she was, we have to find... I think, I think the uh, tree that I'm barking up on is that she was not at her parents' Thursday night. She was with uh, Emma. Sorry, uh, she was with Kate. <laughs> Sorry, she was with Kate at the pub, and those two broke the pub window because they said there was two girls, so it's probably those two. So I'm just checking the chat here. I think you can visit the farm at this hour. Thank you. Probably be back later. I had completely forgotten that the uh, commissioner detective something told me to go and talk to other people and see if I could know more about when they met and all that. Maybe trap them in one of those kind of contradictions. So, okay, let's go and do that. Farm. Go back up. Okay. So, is this the farm? Is Paul and Ryan Rand the farm? And why can I only go around the back? This is weird. I I don't think. I mean, it says Abbey Farm right here, but no, can't can't seem to go up there. I'm just gonna see if I missed any uh, exits. No, I did not. Farm is still not accessible. Nope. So. It's back to old Amapu. A few more questions, if you don't mind. In we fuck. That's a new one. In we fuck. <laughs> Which sounds an awful lot dirtier than I had anticipated. Hmm. I'm, st I'm, I'm gonna see. Okay, I'm gonna go through this kind of logically. The whole, I went home to see my parents Thursday night. Emma went home to see her parents late Thursday night, so she wasn't around on Friday. There's got to be a contradiction in here somewhere that says, actually, she was. She saw her in the college library on Thursday. She could have gone to the library and then went home to her parents later. But... Nope, that wasn't it. God damn it. All right, back to the argument. Um, Kate appeared her usual self. She had a drinking problem. None of that works. Doesn't think she lost it. No, bike belongs to Simon. Uh, none of that seems to contradict this. Box of old bottles. They belong to Simon. Cool. Doesn't like beer. Uh, I guess that's another one to keep in mind because maybe they were having beers at the pub or something. Maybe that's a contradiction. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Broken pendants. Nope, none of that contradicts. But she knows about the broken pub window and visited the pub on Monday night with a friend. So I guess this is this is not really a contradiction either because she said she found out that the pub window was broken on Monday. So she wasn't around on Friday. Who cares? She was told on Monday. That's not a contradiction. She hasn't seen this mask before, but she did go to a um, seminar with Simon. So maybe we should bark up that tree instead, because I can't see any... Um, no speckle from the winter pub after college. Cool. All right, let's, uh, let's do this instead. Yep, those are not contradictions. Let's wait around. I would love if this worked so that you could just drag this thing in here. Like, whoop, go like that. You see, this is made in HTML, actually. If you drag this, it actually drags a little link. See? That's kind of cool. Oh, wait, you can't actually see that on 
You cannot see that. Well, that's a pity. Uh, there's a little hover text uh, under the under this uh, icon that says uh, "hadn't seen the mask before" and then a and then a file string. So this entire game is actually made in HTML. That's pretty neat. All right. Um, but you went to an Atlas seminar. No, didn't think so. I think that's one of the uh, higher tier levels. You know, you, you get to wear the mask and then you get to yell at each other. Would have been a lot more obvious to have everything on one list instead of checking each box. I absolutely agree. And if you were... Uh, that's also why I wanted to be able to drag, is because I want to be able to say, Okay, she last saw Kate in the college library on Thursday. Uh, but she went home to see her parents Thursday night. See, I would like to just drag the first one into that box and then be able to click through all of these and drag those into the last box. So I keep the one in the first box because now I have to go all the way back and click on it again to, you know, start a, a different contradiction. Hmm. Oh, Andy's also made out of HTML. That's fantastic. I didn't actually want to, you know, put this in as a uh, discrepancy. I just wanted to clear it. I, that's that's another thing I need. I need a, a box, a, a, like a checkbox here to clear this, so I can so I can try again. I think that would make it a lot more intuitive to play, and I don't think it would give too much away. I, th I think I know why the developers didn't do it like the, like I just said with the drag and droppy thing because they would assume that someone would just drag this into the box and then go through everyone and just drag those down into the box again but that's not how people play games I mean I could see myself doing that if I was really stuck or anything I think this is because it's made in HTML5 or in HTML really uh, so you need uh, you need something to be number A <laughs> You need something to be, you know, contradiction A, or no, statement A, statement B equals contradiction. Uh, and again, that's not, no, what do I say? Uh, that's it for the time. Not a program. Thank you. Let's just fuck around with Simon instead. I, I don't see anything there. Uh, let's see. You gave the poster. Doesn't know anything about the argument. Went straight home after Atlas last Friday. Is there something about... No. I mean, is he lying even more? If he went straight home after Atlas last Friday, why did he see Kate? Uh, no, no. Last saw Kate at the Atlas meeting last Friday. Didn't follow her home or anything. Oh, God. Claims he hardly ever visits the pub? There's a question too. Um, let's see. Never ever visits the pub? Yeah, yes, yes. Somewhere here. Somewhere here I want to, I want to find a, an example of him you know, going out for a drink uh, at the pub or something like that. Broken pendant? No. Makes own beer, doesn't go to pubs. Well, that's probably why he doesn't. So... Ah, Summer has an idea, which is to go later. to Atlas. Because maybe they have opened up. It would also be nice for the game to sort of give you an indication of where new things were happening on the map. So you don't have to... Because there are a lot of little nodes here, you know? There's a lot of little places you can uh, you can sort of click around, and it doesn't really tell you if something has changed at any of these locations. So you just have to sort of visit them all over again. Okay. Well, we're here. Let's try and enter. Oh, there we go. A new person to talk to. Okay, so we are probably going to end this. 
on a high note, hopefully. Go into the atrium. And stay hydrated, everyone, please. Ryan was interviewed in the lounge, according to the report. That must be his office. The lounge, you say. Well, try the door on the right. It is probably not locked. Okay, fine. Just barge in. See, it wants me to go in and check, uh, check shit out, but I just want to see the other locations because maybe a little magnifying glass will pop up like it did around the pub. Um, except it didn't, so let's just go in here. Hello? Yes? Yes? Hello? Hello? Yes? No. Oh, Alright, return to hallway. Is there something we can investigate here? Hello? Yes? Hello? No. Hmm. Do I need to leave an appointment? Is no one home? Can't go up the stairs, can't... Uh, just try the lounge door again. No, at least it's not one of those games where you have to try the same thing twice and then it suddenly works. Cool. And there's nothing I can do in here, is there? Maybe I should investigate a little closer. Maybe there's something I can use an item on. No, this is in fact a very nondescript room. So, but if he's not here, then where in the fuck is he? Is he hanging out at the pub? Is he in fact hiding somewhere? Is he uh, in the restaurant having dinner? Perhaps with hookers or people from outer space? No, none of those things. Or I can call the chief the master spoiler. Right, that's... Uh, that's also an idea. And no one told us anything new, right? It's not like the... A few more questions, if you don't mind. Hello. It's not like these things change. Uh, no. Doesn't seem... It's not, it's not like these change... Uh, um, when you've talked to other characters, I guess. Okay. Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Yeah, just wanted to look into your pretty eyes. Off we fuck. Let's go and see if anything has changed, and if not, let's uh, phone the um, uh, commissioner thingy. The chief. Okay, I have to remember that. Hello? Anything new? I mean, the uh, first hint you gave me didn't really pan out, so I'm hoping for a second. He's hiding in Uranus. <laughs> I'm sure he is. Now the chief's not even picking up the fucking phone. Well, this is just going to keep buzzing in my ears, Ned, so I'm just going to leave the call box. Well, suck. Is it time for a hint? Nah, can't be quite yet. Actually, I wouldn't mind a hint just pushing me in the direction of who I have to trap. So I at least know what person I'm supposed to trap. Actually, instead of using the hint here, I don't know how the hint system works. Maybe someone can tell me just what person am I, am I supposed to entrap right now, so I at least know I'm focusing in the right place. So I'm going to use Summer as my personal hint guide. <laughs> Poor fucker. Meanwhile, let's wander around the game. Hey, how about that stream quality, incidentally? No dropped frames for the entire hour and 26 minutes we've been streaming. I'm not sure who either at the moment. I don't know this game 100% off the top of my head. Well, I'm, I'm sorry for putting you on the spot like that. Uh, right, let's let's try the tip system. Better investigate the woods again. Oh, because things have changed. All right, fine, we'll do that then. Okay, so we're probably going to be using the uh, hint line uh, a couple of times. Did you talk with Randy at Atlas? No, didn't do that. You now have a duty. No, no, no. It's it's cool. It's cool. Just uh, just checking. No, Randy, Ryan, Ryan's the dude, and he wasn't in his office. So, let's uh, go left into the woods. See if anything has changed on the jetty. Has anyone dropped any other pieces of jewelry we can fuck with? No. Uh, wait. Let's go back. We missed something. We missed going. I, I, I can't find my way around. This is not where I wanted to go. Go back into the woods. Okay, so let's go left. 
No, wait, that's where I came from. God fucking damn it. Okay, now let's go... Lake Junction? God damn it. So turned around. All I want to go is, is out there. Um, so that would be here. There we go. Ah, we got a cutscene. With a person. What is he holding? It looked like a jumping it? rope. I'm a police officer. Detective Inspector Jenks. Oh, it's a hooker. It's right. You can carry on if you want to. I'm just going. I'm investigating a, a death in the village, Cape Vine. There was a death recently Hello. in the... Newer. Well, could I ask you a few questions, please? A bit dark. No, it isn't. Well, if you give me your name and address, I'll come later on. And off he fucks. Where do you live? House. And what's your name? Oh, can't hear you. Out of earshot, can't hear you. What was in that hookah? I mean, having known people at college, like I said, I, I know you're not supposed to put marijuana in one of those you know, water pipey things. But, uh, shit. I think he was. Uh, Big Hair Marty says, Funny you talk about drunk stream quality. Last night I watched a Doki Doki stream and the picture froze shortly before Monica said I didn't realize the script was that badly messed up. Ouch. Um, which just reminds me, maybe we shouldn't spoil other games in this chat either for people who haven't played Doki Doki and haven't watched me play Doki Doki. Well, I guess this means we can go to the farmhouse and fuck with his head. No? Fine. Well, it's According to the map, Abbey Farm is across the road there. Or we can, sure. It's kind of convoluted, but Summer says that uh, it'll, uh, it'll get easier once you get used to the game. Let's go up the steps, fuck around in the other locations before we go and actually talk to people. Look in the greenhouse. Yes, trespassing. Let's do trespassing. I love it. Investigate. Investigate. Someone burnt a hole in this piece of paper. Picture frames with black painted glass. Very interesting. Is it really? Okay, she says so. So we got a new conversation topic. So he likes making picture frames. And likes burning things for some reason not really sure what that was about another lie spot the greenhouse isn't green <laughs> another lie spotted please ring the bell all right i am usually people have an electronic doorbell but i guess we're in, I ask you a few more questions in the country you haven't got much time can i come in are you hi just close the doors shall we <laughs> I think that was an ad lib. Where do you want to sit? Oh, anywhere's fine. I uh, didn't quite catch your name. James. Also, your there. ceiling is very low. James. Hey, Jamie Poo. Why are you asking me about Cape Vine? Routine. You know Simon, don't you? Thompson. Why, what did he say? That you all went to college together, you and Kate. Is that right? Might have done. Right. Good enough. Okay. Now, see, one thing I just want to bring up is... Uh, the game starts you off with this massive info dump, and because I am very bad with remembering names and dates and stuff like that, those are like black holes in my brain. Whenever something does that, like a TV series or a piece of fiction or a game like this, it brings you this massive info dump. I secretly cross my fingers and hope to God that the characters in this piece of fiction are quick to remind me of you know things that I have been told already once and so far the game is doing a pretty good job of that however it drops you a lot of names at the start and I am freaking out because I don't I, I don't do names I'm not good with names so now I know that uh, Ryan and Emma and Simon and uh, this dude James who is not the uh, who's not one of the two people who seem to run Atlas, at least I don't think so. Can you tell me about this? Ever seen one of these? Seen them around college. What do you know about it? Not much. It's a business course, that's Simon, he's on it. You wouldn't be interested in that sort of thing? <sighs> and you haven't discussed it with Simon? Not really. Business doesn't interest me. Hookers do. 
Not hookers. Hookers. Okay. Has seen the post of college. No, Simon's seen the Atlas course. Hasn't discussed the course with Simon. Fine. Let's ask about this now. Now, what's all this stuff in the workshop? Paint and stencils and things like that. Just a little sideline of mine. What oh, is he looking at? Framing. They're black mirrors. Scrying mirrors. You say as now, if I'm supposed to know mirror? what that is? Show you one if you want. He's off to summon the devil. Be right back. Here it is. It doubles as an Xbox controller. The scrying goes back centuries. The ancient Persians did it. Oh, now we got his attention. This country pagans still practice it. The fortune tellers pretend to do it. That's what the crystal ball's all about. It's all scrying. The mirror's just one way of doing it. But what is scrying? Depends who you are. People do it for different reasons. Some people are just bad spellers and wanted a good cry. Exploring your mind. Clearing your mind. Communicating with the dead. Is that what you use them for, James? Communicating with the dead. And they make them for other people these days. Yeah, I've had my fill with the dead. Lots of people want to talk to the dead. Even if they don't believe in it. Do you make a profit on them? I don't do it for the money. Yeah, I do it because I love keep it. Keep this. Keep it. And I love hookahs. Thank you. Oh, I get to keep the mirror too. Well, he Black clearly. Mirrors and hookah pipes. I wonder what else James is into. I'm gonna guess D and D. And maybe reggae music. No, no, wait, he's more of a somber electronica kind of guy. Anyway, does he recognize the mask and then I can trap him in... Uh, hey, wait, I thought you said you didn't know anything about... Ever seen this before? No, should I have? No, it's okay. <laughs> I don't care. Doesn't recognize the mask. Cool. Can't ask him about that. All right. Know anything about an argument at the pub last Friday? No. Now he's bored again. All right. Did you know that there was a broken window? Know anything about a broken window at the pub? Don't go to the pub. You've never been to the pub. Didn't say that. Been to the pub, but not for about two months, three months. Just ask Kate who killed her, duh. <laughs> doesn't know anything about it, bro. Hasn't been to it for over two months. Apparently this apparently that pub doesn't get a lot of action from the locals. They all seem to hate it. Doesn't know about the argument, doesn't know about the mask. Uh how about this thing? I mean you should answer your one of shit. these before. Or decorative Freedom shit. Necklace. I don't think so. Right, can I ask you to look me in the eyes when you say that? Have you uh, ever tried Simon's homebrew? Thompson's tar? Yeah, I've tried it. Did he sell it? Well, not to me, not for money anyway. We used to trade stuff. What Dead did souls, try? mostly. I make a nice herbal tea as it happens. Him and his girlfriend were into it. Herbal tea. Like Lethal. Strong. Let's experiment tea. says Simon's homebrew is very strong. Okay, fine. James wouldn't know about these bottles. Okay. Doesn't want to talk about the screwdriver. I forget who... What do you know about Simon's bike? What bike? You haven't seen him on a bike. I haven't seen him. When was the last time you saw him? About a month ago. I forget. Who did Simon say he sold? Uh, that he sold his beer to. I forget. Anyway. Tro uh, Andy P asks if I like Joe Nesbo. I have no idea who that is. Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? <laughs> Kind of going backwards, <laughs> no but okay. No idea. And... When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? Can't remember. How did you know her? Uh, through Simon. His girlfriend was mates with her. Saw her around college a few times. Did you socialize with her much? Nah. She wasn't my type. You're a spooky fucker, aren't you? 
knew Kate through Simon's girlfriend. But but Emma said they didn't really hang out a lot. So maybe we can go trap her in... I don't know. Again, this... I guess... I'm not going to say it would be more interesting, but... Yeah, it kind of would be more interesting if you could use other people's testimonies against each other. So all I really have to go on is... Mirror is just... No, I wouldn't even know what to trap this guy in. No, Simon is on the Atlas course, but... No, no. Last saw Simon about a month ago, but... Uh, hasn't discussed the... No, that doesn't make sense. Be uh. back later on, if that's okay. This is a tricky fucking game. <laughs> Two or three months away from the pub. It's very good restraint. Yeah, it is, isn't it? So, maybe this dude has shown up. No, wait. Uh, people only show up after... Uh, after the next trigger, I would believe. I'm just gonna try it, just for the hell of it. No. No. Things only change when the game triggers something. Okay, cool. Stop. Uh, so... I still feel like I need to knock Emma Couple more questions, on okay. something. At least now I can ask her about different shit. Um, scrying mirrors? Have you seen one of these before? Is that from James? Now, what do you know about James? That he's creepy. Oh, she's got her <sighs> he number. He was selling them last His Friday at the market. There's, there's a market every week type thing. And uh, I usually go there for lunch. So you wouldn't buy one of these? No, I wouldn't. But Kate would. Was she uh, into this sort of thing? <laughs> no, I, I, I don't think so. She just thought she they were fun one. and decorative. And, uh, a mirror you can't look into. I went round to her flat to try it out. You're meant to see ghosts or spirits or something. It doesn't work. How do you use it? You just meant to just stare into rub it. Rub it against your cheek. Shall I show you? Go ahead. Okay, so this is how you use eyes. <sighs> okay, so you just you just stare stare like this, and. Uh, Douchey guy, I, I see what you said there. I see. Absolutely bugger all. See what? Sorry, um... <laughs> uh, look, uh, you, you're meant to see a ghost or something. Look, it doesn't work. Well, it got you distracted, didn't it? <laughs> didn't work, sir. No, no, of course not. James was selling them last Friday. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Here, here we go, here we go. Big, big, big contradiction thank you so much see thank you so much for pointing out that little thing there because that triggered something in my own mind so now i don't feel stupid for solving it or, or for for not getting it because that was just a little tiny piece of information um the other thing I, that genuinely made me feel stupid um the whole uh, broken mirror thing because that the reason for that was because i hadn't paid attention when she was saying that i was busy, you know, trying to think of something funny to say or reading the chat or something. My fault completely. Um, so this one, this one makes me happy. All right. You said you were someplace else. Here we go. So, you went home to see your parents on Thursday night, that right? Uh, yes. But you said you saw James at the market on Friday. He, um... No, I went to um, I went to see my parents on Friday night. What time did you go on Friday? Um, eight or nine. And you didn't see Kate at all on Friday. No. Wait, 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 wait. She did. You're a very good liar, Emma. Yeah, okay. you, you said you saw her. I saw Kate. Where? At the pub. We were arguing. Yeah, oh, there we go. What were you arguing about? I, I'd lent her fifty pounds because she was desperate, and w we were just arguing. I, I, it didn't really bother me. She just didn't have it. And Kate broke the window. 
Yes. She she did things like that when she was angry. Smash things? Yes. So it was Emma arguing with Kate. But why didn't she want to admit it? In case it gave her a motive? Or something else? <laughs> what indeed, yes. Okay, so the mystery of the broken pub window. Well, maybe we can go and chat okay, with that's the... that's it for now. Yeah. Thank you. I'm off. Uh, maybe we can go chat to the pub lady, uh, Rebecca. Rebecca, I believe her name was? Yeah. Rebecca's pub. And tell her that we know who smashed up her window. I don't know if it works like that. I don't know if you can, like, tell her new information, but I just want to see. More questions, please. Thank you. Still learning the game. Broken pub window. Now you just get the same thing. Doesn't know who broke the window. Well, now she does. Kate broke the window during an argument. So, window was broken around 6.30. Wasn't there something about... Uh, she saw Kate in the pub around 7. No, that's not it. See, uh, there's, there's again something about the timeline there. Uh, let me, let me just see. Uh, window was broken at 6.30. But she was drunk be er, before that, so... Uh, okay. Yeah, I would really love a long list of uh, of just everything you can ask instead of uh, instead of having to click around this shit. So I came in the pub around seven, but um. This is not really a contradiction. Rebecca broke the window, but... Now, okay, because the, the, the timeline there was indicating that, well, the window was broken around 6.30, but she hauled Kate... No, Kate was in there at around 7. So, half an hour before. Yeah, I, th I thought I tried that summer. I think this is easier than a long list. It would be difficult to scroll through and having it per item. In fact, yeah, okay. Actually, I think what would what would make this a lot easier is the whole drag and droppy thing. Um, okay, let's try this. I think I already tried that, but yeah, I did. Okay, you know what? It is two in the morning now, so maybe we should leave the uh, the the question of the broken pub window for later. We haven't advanced the uh, clock yet, and I don't know if trapping Rebecca here in some contradiction is going to uh, advance the clock. I mean, it would be fun to advance the clock and then call it a day, but at this point we have been going for an hour and 45 minutes, barring uh, some <laughs> unforeseen technical issues, which is uh, unfortunate, of course. Thank you! Probably be back later. Yes, fucking off right now. And let's let's hope I remember any of this uh, for next Tuesday, where we will pick this up. Um, yeah, I, I heard that they really wanted to do a sequel to this game, but they, I mean, the uh, the game didn't sell well enough for them to <clears throat> to feasibly go go and do that. Chief clues, replay scenes. This is very nice. You can just replay scenes here, so I might actually do that before. Uh, Wait, cheats? Zero. But I did use the hint once, so I guess that doesn't count as a cheat. Hmm. Oh well. Anyway, let's uh, save game one. Using cloud storage? Using local storage? Using cloud storage? Well, yes. I haven't even saved over it. It's asking me if I want to replace it, but anyway, cool. Save game and exit. Current game saved locally. Come back soon. Well, that was very nice. Very nice indeed. Thank you guys so much for sticking around, and, uh, well, I hope this was interesting for you to watch. I'm not quite sure if, I'm not quite sure if I would find it interesting to watch someone stream a game like that, because it's a lot of just watching the same thing 
and just watching a person going, mm, I, to, uh. I think it would be fun to watch a smart person do this, uh, but I don't count myself in that category. So um, I, I, I get a feeling this is one of those games that's just going to make me feel really, really stupid, but maybe it's just the, the brain thing talking. Um, but anyway, Francisco held out for the entire stream. Holy shit. That's, uh, that's commendable. I thought you had a game to make or something. <laughs> anyway, go and check out Francisco's game if you haven't. Lamplightcity.com. Looks amazing. It's a detective game and one where you can fuck up and the game still keeps rolling. So, uh, yeah, if you haven't already heard me shill about that. Actually, uh, while we're shilling, why don't you go and check out uh, the uh, podcast that I'm a part of, BackseatDesigners.com, because, for one, it has an interview with Francisco. And it also has interviews with other people, and we're currently rolling our season five or season V. So, uh, so fun times, fun times indeed on that one. Uh, BackseatDesigners.com. And I think Francisco also has a podcast or some, some Blue Cup tools or something. Yeah, you can go and Google that if you want. Anyway, um, yes, I mean, this, this actually, he says he's been watching this while working, and I guess. That would be a good way to watch this. Just, <laughs> just listening to some dude go mm, instead of having it to be having it be a game where you have to constantly, you know, pay attention to what's happening on screen. This is more of a listening type game, and I think the game is really interesting. I think it's a nice concept, and I think it's a really interesting uh, thing because I was actually okay. This is gonna get a little uh, off track, but not really. I was watching a dude on YouTube. What the fuck is his name? He makes these videos about, I think it's called Game Maker Labs or something. Uh, and he actually had a um, a video about uh, how to make a detective games interesting. You know, uh, because one thing that detective games rarely get to do is make the player feel like they're um, like deducing things. And I think this game is actually trying to do that very well. Is it Game Maker's Toolkit? I think it is. Game Maker's Toolkit, here we go. I'm just gonna see if I can find the actual video and then toss it to you and uh, let that be my parting gift. Here, let me just see detectives. What makes a good detective game? Yep, this is the one. Here we go. <laughs> I have an ASMR uh, sort of voice. You're not actually the first one to tell me that, but I think, I think he's just trolling me. Ha <laughs> ha, that's my name, cool. Anyway, that's that's a good... I think actually Francisco should watch that video so he can go and make some changes to his game. Or not. Maybe maybe Francisco's game is perfect as it is. I have a feeling it might be. I really shouldn't throw people's uh, in-progress um, games or projects under the bus like that. Sorry. I was, just, I was just trying to be funny. It's clearly not working, so maybe I should just stop the stream right here and say thank you so much for watching. And uh, as you can tell, my voice is going too, so let's all... Stay hydrated. Oh, that is fucking good. And I'm gonna go have a little lie down and see if I can, you know, stop being ill. It would be fucking awesome. Oh, and he has watched that video. Cool. It was very good advice, I thought. Uh, maybe we can have a chat about that later. But anyway, for now, I am just going to stop streaming and... Uh, Stop rambling. So, uh, good night, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I don't know. Is, is this a new thing? Usually, I go like this. Should I go like? Uh, vote. This is uh, this is A and this is B. Vote amongst yourselves. I'll see you Sunday for more Under a Killing Moon and next Tuesday for more of what you've just seen. Contradiction. So big, as Vokabra says, big night and good hugs. That's that's better than my usual outro spiel. So, good night.